This morning, the severe weather marching across the country, turning more deadly. The mayor of Louisville, Kentucky, says at least one person died after a tornado hit the area. Extensive damage reported, including this home with a new listing sign out front split in half by a fallen tree. We did not hear that tree fall. Never did. Nearly a dozen tornadoes have been reported over a 48-hour period spawned by a long cold front stretching from the Gulf of Mexico to Lake Erie. In southeast Missouri, a tornado packing 130 mile per hour winds hit Bollinger County, killing at least five people. The National Weather Service says the tornado was apparently on the ground for 15 minutes, traveling about 20 miles. You can hear something just a roaring coming. You can hear trees popping, everything like that. Keith Lincoln and his wife took shelter in their bathtub before the twister tore apart their home. What are you thinking? <laughs> Thank you, my good Lord. Please help us. My wife's praying, save us, save the house, everything like that. And basically, he did. Yeah, you guys made it. Yes, we sure did. At least 68 people have been killed by tornadoes in the U.S. this year, only too shy of what we see on average for an entire year. And scientists say the U.S. is seeing a shift in tornado activity. A recent study found the frequency of tornadoes in the area, known as Tornado Alley, from Texas to Nebraska, has decreased in recent decades, while the number of tornadoes has increased in the southeast from Louisiana to Alabama. The study suggests the shift east is due to changes in atmospheric patterns and climate. Meanwhile, parts of the Upper Plains and Midwest have been dealing with heavy snow. It's so cold in Minnesota, the Twins' home opener had to be postponed. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.